Hello, almost adults. It is Melissa here from the reference desk, and I have some helpful tips for you today on how to properly email someone. Okay, maybe it's your teacher, maybe it's a relative, maybe it's, you know, your boss at your job, and you need to send an email. So I'm going to give you some helpful tips and how to's to send the right email and send the right message. Okay. So we'll talk about some components, um, some email etiquette, and then we'll do an example as well. Okay. Some of these repeat a little bit. Um, they do say a lot about um, emailing your teacher, but really, again, that can be applied to all types of situations. So you should have a subject, okay, a subject line in your email. A greeting is always appreciated. Okay, the body is where you're going to type all of your message. We're not and going to type our message in the subject line. Okay, the subject line should be short, like no more than five or seven words in the subject line. Okay, that should be short. All of the information should go in the body of the paragraph. Okay, a closing is a nice touch as well as signing your name. And depending on, okay who you're addressing your email to would probably depend on how you sign your name. If it's to a relative, you probably just have to put your first name. If you are emailing your teacher, your first and last name, and then as well as maybe what period you have that teacher would be extremely helpful. I'm pretty sure your teacher probably knows who you are by now, but even just having that extra information is always a good plan, okay? If you're emailing your boss, okay, or your manager at work, First and last name is probably always a good idea. So again, the components of an email, that subject line, two to five words, very to the point. So that way they know kind of looking at the subject, what's going to be happening in the email. Okay, begin with a greeting. Okay, get to the point and add the details that you need. A closing and then signing your name. Again, depending on who you're emailing, you might not need your last name, but more often than not, you're going to need your last name. Okay. Some things to keep in mind writing, and we're not necessarily like a professional email, but a more formal email, right? An email is going to be a more formal way to contact someone. It's not just a quick text message, okay? So greet your contact properly, normally with Mr. or Mrs., okay? Introduce yourself if you need to, okay? You know, dear Mrs. Cardone, I'm in your fourth hour class, okay, if someone was writing to me. Uh, try to be as polite as you can, uh, be positive and friendly, and always a good rule of thumb is to proofread your email before you send it, okay, especially if you're using Gmail or you're using Yahoo. A lot of the email services now have, okay, the blue and the red squiggle lines that tell you that maybe something's spelt wrong or it's not grammatically correct. So take the time before you push send to make sure that your email is the best version of you going out to someone else. So do be polite, okay? Do try to have a positive tone. Do use proper grammar, spelling, and punctuation. Do write using complete sentences. Do include the essential components and do get to the point, be brief, and then move on, okay? Don't write in all capital letters. That's a big no-no. Don't use creative punctuations. One exclamation point is good. 12 is probably a couple too many. Okay. Don't use abbreviations or text-to-speech. Okay, your text speech. Remember, you're not texting this person. You're emailing them. It's a little more formal. Okay, so you want to try to put your best version of yourself out there. Okay. Also, don't forget that emails are forever. They can always go back. You don't want that email to come back and haunt you. Do your best work, okay, when you're sending that email. So, okay, for example, right, you're going to put your email address in the to line. My subject Okay, mine's going to be about work tonight. Okay. And then I'm going to start with right. 
All right, so I just, my subject is short and sweet. I wrote my greeting, what's in the body, and then my closing, and then I have my signature. Clearly my signature is very big because this is my work email, okay? I'm gonna stop, look it over. If it's everything that I want to do, then I will hit send and send it away, okay? Um, so sending an email, small subject line, greet your person, Give all the details you can give in the body, a salutation, a sign off, sign it, first and last name, and then if you can provide more information depending on who you're emailing. Okay. So hopefully these are some good email tips for you. All right, and we'll look forward to seeing you next month with the next almost adult subject.